Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And in today's video, I will be showcasing the 19th episode of Elevate with Ankara. Elevate with Ankara is a series that myself and Cherie of Cherie Thomas have on our channels and we talk about all things Ankara. We showcase how you can elevate your looks with the Ankara fabric. We conduct interviews with different designers that specialize in Ankara fabric. So yes, that is what this series is all about. And today, we are going to be talking about shorts. If you know me, you know that you will rarely see me make or be in a pair of shorts. And that is because while I don't dislike them, I sometimes don't feel the most comfortable in them. And I generally only make them when I am getting ready for vacation or if I wanna go somewhere that is going to be very hot and I wanna stay comfortable. So in this video, the patterns that I am choosing to share with you, which are eight different short patterns, are going to reflect how, if you feel like me, how you can feel comfortable in shorts. Um, with that being said, the styles are kind of similar, but there are enough differences to show you these different ones. And I'll go ahead and get started now. And please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite one. All right, so for the first pattern that we're gonna look at, this is Simplicity 9550, which is a Mimi G pattern. And the description is Mrs. Top's skirts and shorts. And I'm looking at the description more to see if there's anything in particular about the shorts. And it says that it is a mid calf skirt and mid thigh shorts that have a back zipper, hip yoke, and sash. All right, so let's take a closer look at this here. So this is a close up of the short. And here is the yoke. It looks like there's gatherings at the yoke. There's another view, here's a side view. Super cute, here's the back zipper right here. Nice and flowy. So let's go ahead and look at the line drawings too. So here is your sash. And so for me, the reason why I like this pattern here is because I am a skirt person, I am a dress person, and I typically only wear shorts when I am in a warmer or hot, I should say, climate or, you know, if I'm going somewhere that's going to be hot and I want to keep warm. I can definitely wear shorts on a regular basis if they resemble this type of look, like or a skirt or something like that. Um, but this here is super cute to me. I love the design. I love the drape of this fabric and you know how it makes it all come together. So that is one pattern. So this next pattern is Simplicity 1069 and the pattern description is Simplicity Sewing Pattern Misses Wide Leg Pants or Shorts and Skirts and Two Lengths. Um, and it goes on to say that Mrs. Wide Leg Pants can be full length with carriers and tie belt or cropped or can be shorts with carrier and tie belt. So the difference here between the previous pattern, which was the Mimi G and this one is this one has carriers so that you can use a belt. This is not as wide and there are no gathers, but there's pleats. So let's look at the line drawing so that you can see that. So here are the line drawings right here. As you can see, this is what the shorts are gonna look like. So there is no waistband, there are no gathers, there's no yoke, it's just like this with two pleats in the front and one pleat in the back with your zipper here, okay? So this is what it looks like. And there's carriers right here, one on each side. So that would be a different, the difference here. It's a little bit of a cleaner look than Mimi G's, just very kind of a little bit more simple um, with the detail of the pleats. So if you're not into the gathers and the fuller look of, of how the gathers give for the Mimi pattern, this is another option here. I know sometimes people don't like the gathers because it, you know, can make a person look a little bigger in those areas where the gathers are but for me i'm okay with that and i'm also okay with this look 
All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next look. Okay, so for the next pattern, this is an independent pattern by J, J, So Much Jazz. Her name is So Much Jazz on Instagram, but she, it's J. Reed Desiree. That's what the website is. So I remember when these shorts first came out, and I said I had to have them. I purchased them, haven't made them yet, just because um, at the time that they came out, I believe it was like in the COVID era and I wasn't like, I was traveling, but not like that. And so, like I said, typically I make shorts for like when I'm going on vacation and things like that. However, this is a very nice pattern and I loved it when I saw it on some of the people that tested it. This is the Ants Marcel shorts and it comes in two different sizes, 4 to 18 and 18 W through 30 W. So let's take a look here. Now, this does look similar to the previous pattern, but the reason why I'm showing you is because it does have this little waistband and there are no pleats. Well, you have the option of having no pleats in the front and then you have an option of having like this um, placket. I think this is, it may be faux. I'm not really sure what this is, but there's a couple different options, but there's no pleats in the front, which is the whole reason why I am showing you that and this little waistband. So it's completely clean. It's very flowy and I love the look of it. And um, let me show you a model. Some of the model did this one, this young lady right here. Look how flowy this is. This is such a relaxing type of look. And it honestly, it, depending on the fabric you, look, you would use, it actually looks like pajamas. <laughs> so this is a very nice flowy option and it does come with pockets as well. And it just says that um, it does feature two views. A, the flare shorts has an invisible zipper, back darts, and a contoured waistband. So there's darts in the back. Um, View B has um, the front fly zip. So it does have the front fly zip. I almost forgot what it was called just because I don't make anything with front fly zips. Um, it does have inseam pockets as well, back darts and a contoured waistband. So the difference is the front fly zip. So if you like that, kudos to you. You can make that with this option. I don't like front fly zips, so I would stick with the basic view A. So yeah, but she does recommend that um, with any pattern to do a muslin or toil fit before cutting into your fashion fabric. I have to do that with anything that has a waistband, so I get it. And here is another sample of more of a plus size um, and how that looks. And I think that this looks so good just in general very very cute option for when you don't want to wear a skirt but you want that look okay so for our next pattern we have simplicity 1370 and the description is simplicity sewing patterns misses shorts or skirt and skirt <laughs> all right so what i like about this the skirt option of course because it looks like a skirt but it's not okay <laughs> so I, I know you're picking up on the little trend here and it's gonna change up a little bit um, after this pattern so views A and B and C are basically um, what I'm looking at here so view A is really my number one pick it is a skirt, and I love the option of this one because of how the designs are just different like that's not something that you typically see every day um, but yet it's still cute so I really love that option and this is a nice size waistband and that is actually what the model is wearing here it's short but it's not a skirt so it's okay <laughs> so view B here is gonna be your shorts and um, view B is, is basic it's very basic I mean it's an option probably wouldn't make it but it is an option and the view C is kind of like view B but it has like your scallop hemline and then both B and C have these pleats or it has one pleat in the front 
use D and E our skirts so we won't be talking about those today but yeah these are the main options here and I will go like I said for view A should I go with this pattern which is what the model is wearing again so let's take a look at the line drawings here are your line drawings and yeah it's pretty much just looks like what the pattern cover is giving and here's the back and this comes in sizes 4 through 20. All right, so let's go on to the next pattern. All right, so now we are going to switch it up a little bit. And we are going to start off with McCall's 8367. The description for this is Mrs. Pants or Shorts. And the description goes on to say that it is a pull-on elastic waist pants and short that sit below the waist and have wide legs with or without cuffs. View B and C have cargo pockets, all views have back patch pockets, and view C has a belt with a D-ring closure, um, but we're not going to be looking at that. What we're going to be looking at is view A, which are the shorts. So it does say that these shorts sit below the waist, but the reason why I'm showing these is because while it's a little basic, it's not flowing wide leg, it does have an elasticated waist, which for me kind of helps as well because I just love that style. So this is what we're looking at and it looks like there's like three different stitch rows. I'm not sure if all of them are full of elastic. Um, sometimes this row up here is left um, without elastic and then the this row and this row and this row may have elastic so um, let's take a look and see if we can find out so here I am seeing that there is a sew along for this pattern and it looks like all four rows based off of Mimi's pair of pants have elastic in it okay so here we're looking at a close-up of the model and yes there's definitely elastic in this row in this row, this row, and this row, and it looks pretty wide. And while the pattern description says that it sits below the waist, these look pretty high waisted to me, which is a bonus. Um, but yeah, this this is super cute. Um, I don't necessarily always like threading the elastic through these casings, but I'm willing to do that. And then it has carriers as well. So yeah, this is. I think this is going to be pretty high up on the list. <laughs> so here are your line joins right here. And it mentioned that there are patch pockets in the back, but it also looks like there are side seam pockets. So yeah, this is a pretty cute pattern and I'm willing to give that one a try. If I don't do it for the reveal, then I'll probably do it at some point during the summer. All right, let's move on to the next pattern. Okay, so the next pattern that we have here is McCall's 8118 and the pattern description is Mrs. Short's Pants and Belt. Now this is so super cute. Look at the model. The model's view is basically what I would be making. I absolutely love it and to be honest if this is like a skirt it says sarong and a sarong is usually a skirt. Um, but yeah, so if this is like somehow built up into a squirt, I'd be making that. However, this right here, BB, I'm so here for that. Let's take a closer look at this paper bag waist. Look how structured it is. It is so full and it has this rolled hem type of um, look for the bottom of the shorts and this belt just sets it off so I absolutely love it and even if the belt was not a part of this it would still look super cute I don't think I would necessarily make this in a leather or pleather because of the heat um, but I believe that they use this fabric to kind of give it a good example with the structure that it gives um, but with Ankara fabric because that is what I'll be using since it's for this series and car fabric is very structured because of the cotton being thicker than the average cotton and because of the wax that is within the fabric so it will look just as good as this. This is considered easy. It looks very easy and let's go ahead and take a look at the line drawings. 
So here are your line drawings. Super, super cute. Here's the line drawings over here. Love this. Here's the line drawings for the pants, but we won't be making those. So yeah, so this is basically your big paper bag waist right here. This top row is generally just a stitch line. So there's no elastic here and the elastic is in here. So it's just one easy row of elastic. And this pattern comes in sizes extra small through extra, extra large. All right. All right. So let's go to the next pattern. Okay. So this pattern is one that I have made before, and this is McCall's 8221. And the pattern description is Mrs. Short. It is a learn to sew elastic waist short, and it has for A, a ruffled hem, which is the view that I made previously, and view B, which is what the model is wearing, has a wide hem, and view C, it says a thigh. Um, this is a level one learn to sew pattern, so if you're new to sewing, this will be great for you to do. I, to be honest, like every view on this pattern. View B is wide enough for me to just wear it as is. It seems simple and just make it the way it is. View A, because I, I wanted a little something extra when I made it. Um, I just felt like when I, when I looked at the photo and because of the fabric that I was using, I wanted a little extra something. Um, but I made view A and it has the ruffle hem. And then view C has um, the stitched hem and it's basically, it says thigh on there, but I think they meant calf. It looks like calf length to me. Um, and so the views do have side pockets too, which is always good. I, have, I remember putting pockets in mine as well. And so here are the line drawings down here to get a better view of what it would look like. And so here's some more images. And for me, I would have to make this view again just because I just I just don't want it to be that plain. However, I do not see anything wrong with the other options. Um, it did not take a lot of work to get the gathers in for these. You know, ruffles or ruffles is pretty decent, but I wouldn't, like I said, want well, mine to be that plain and it's very, very easy to sew. And I think it's also cute. Like I said, if you're plainy, if you just want something plain, this is also a good, option and even down with the model she has the right type of fabric that in the right type of shirt i should say so her whole outfit comes together to create this look and it looks cute like i wouldn't look at her and be like oh she's plain you know um but it's just not for me so basically you know every view on this pattern is a very very good option and especially if you are learning how to sew all right, and for my last one, this is Simplicity 8651, and it's also a learn to sew pull on shorts pattern. While it does look similar to the last one, it has these little tie features that you can um, pull through. So um, the other, the previous pattern that I showed you, it was elasticated at the waist, but, um, and you could put um, the ruffle on the one or you think you can have them plain however with this one you like i said this detail here with the ties so you're going to learn how to put in a buttonhole because you're going to insert those ties through the buttonhole so i just thought that that little detail can help now when i made it before i made um let me think i made this view right here view b but i didn't insert the tie because i had a fabric in where i couldn't find the correct kind of tie uh color for that so that was the reason why i didn't insert the tie but i loved these pants or shorts i should say however this time i would make you see and i would tuck whatever shirt i had on i would tuck it and i would have these little ties hanging off from the side so I thought this was, like I said, super cute. It's pull on, you get the paper bag, elasticated 
waist feature and then you can just really jazz it up with these ties. So not only would you be making these shorts, but depending on that view, um, you will learn how to make a tassel. Like I said before, you're going to learn how to make a buttonhole. Um, and you're also going to learn how to put in a side seam pocket if you haven't done that. So it comes in size 6 to 18 and it's saying it is out of stock, which means they are probably not printing this pattern anymore. Um, but when things are just like out of stock, they're usually in the drawers, but just not at the like warehouse, wherever these patterns come out from. So if this is one that interests you, so yeah, so this is very simple, but very, very cute and trendy. All right, so that is it for my picks of shorts. Please let me know which style was your favorite one. As stated earlier, there's definitely a similarity and the similarity is either the wide, flary, flowy type of look of short, uh, paper bag waist or um, elasticated waist type of short, or a squirt. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for all of your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye!